Hello everyone, Mr. Daydream here. Welcome to the show. <sighs> you know, there are some things that can never be timeless, most notably top 10 videos. While I do enjoy the format every now and then, it has this sad fate of being outdated in a matter of time. If you were to make a top 10 video today, it may not be relevant five years later. Or even one! That's why I'm not too fond of making top 10 videos myself, because I know from the get-go that they're going to slowly lose credibility over time. And you're always going to have those oblivious idiots who pay no attention to the upload date of the video and post comments such as, Why wasn't this in the video? How could you forget about this thing? Well, gee, you're wondering why certain things that came after the video was made weren't in the video to begin with? Yeah, I can't believe it either! <sighs> a while back, I made my first Top 10 video titled, Top 10 Worst Internet Challenges. Did it become outdated? Yes, it did. How long did it take? Less than a month. LESS THAN A MONTH! What's the point of making these things if they have such a short life expectancy and relevancy? Here comes a new challenger in internet challenges, freshly ripe from the stupidity of mankind. What's the name of this challenge that made my top 10 video irrelevant in less than a month? Why, it's none other than the Bird Box Challenge. Ugh. The Bird Box Challenge is an internet challenge based on the horror movie titled Bird Box, released on Netflix in late December. I don't know, am I the only one who thinks that releasing a horror movie close to Christmas is a bit weird and out of place? Well anyways. The movie is about a mother who has to navigate through a forest and river with her two children to safety, all while blindfolded. Why? Because there are supernatural creatures that causes those who see them to commit suicide. Couldn't you just wear blurry lenses? I mean, the creatures take the form of your worst nightmares, but if you can barely see them by wearing special lenses, then whatever form they take is nothing more than some abstract blob in your eyes. At least you'll be able to see something instead of nothing. Uh, I'm getting too carried away with this. I'm not going to be too critical on the movie since I haven't seen it myself, but I have to admit, it is an interesting concept. There's nothing scarier than something you can't see. Or in this case, shouldn't see. The movie became a huge hit on Netflix and it spawned a number of memes as well as an internet challenge. Now to be fair, not all internet challenges are bad, but this one just sounds terrible from the start. In order to do this challenge, you perform whatever task you want, but there's a catch. You have to do it while blindfolded. Now, if these tasks were something innocent, like doing the laundry or taking out the trash, then it could actually make a funny challenge, as long as they're extremely careful and don't get seriously injured. But, of course, people don't want to settle for simple things like that. That's too boring! We gotta take this challenge to the next level! Make it extreme! Totally radical, dude! It's completely unnecessary. Why do people feel the need to take a simple challenge and turn it into a potential game of death. I mean, geez, it's not a contest or anything like that. It's an internet challenge. Just do it the simple way. That's the point. You don't have to go through such extreme measures. It's like if I made a challenge that involves getting hit in the face with a rubber chicken, but some knucklehead thinks it would be a better idea to use a shovel instead. Nobody's asking you to do that. It's completely insane. You're letting your hunger for fame get the best of you. So what are some of the most insane stunts people have done because of the Bird Box Challenge? Well, let's start with quite possibly the most insane one of them all. Driving a car in the middle of the road, blindfolded. An oncoming pickup truck swerved into his lane and struck his car. Uh, I, I, I can't even... Uh, you know, this challenge is so bad that even blind people can't believe what they're seeing. Even though the Bird Box Challenge has become one of the most controversial internet challenges since the Tide Pod Challenge, I gotta ask something. Does it really deserve all this hate? 
I mean, don't get me wrong, it's bad, but it didn't have to be this way. Because, believe it or not, there do exist good examples of the Bird Box Challenge. Such as painting and drawing pictures, or eating food and drinking beverages. Those are completely fine and harmless. If only this challenge came with a strict rule. That rule being, don't do anything that could put your life in danger. But since the challenge doesn't really specify what you should and shouldn't do, People go all out on it, and there's always going to be those stupid idiots who do something stupidly dangerous with it. Because that's what gets the most attention, yo. And I hate that. People just can't seem to do these internet challenges for fun. They always have to do it in some twisted way in order to achieve fame. But like I said earlier, should this challenge really be considered one of the worst to hit the internet? For example, the fire challenge involves setting your body on fire. That's bad no matter how you look at it. The Bird Box Challenge, on the other hand, just has you doing whatever task you want blindfolded. It doesn't say anything like, oh, I don't know, driving a car in the middle of the road when you can't see diddly squat. It's completely up to the person on how they want to do this challenge. But, of course, the most insane ones get the most attention. Not because they're totally radical, dude, but because of how unbelievably brainless they are. Truly the apex of human stupidity. And obviously the news are only going to talk about the bad side of this challenge, which causes it to have negative connotations with people putting their lives and other people's lives in danger, instead of just people who enjoy doodling pictures or enjoying a snack. Because of how dangerous this challenge can be thanks to a bunch of complete morons, YouTube has taken notice. They're creating a new policy in the wake of this madness. This new policy forbids YouTube users to post videos that involve people performing dangerous and harmful challenges that could potentially encourage those who are watching to do the same. Additionally, pranks that involve making people believe they're in real physical danger, such as a shooting prank or a bomb threat prank, will be removed as well. Any channel that doesn't follow this new policy will have their channel striked or even terminated. Ugh. Finally! I'm glad that they're doing something about this. People performing dangerous internet challenges and people creating inhumane pranks has been one of the biggest problems with YouTube for... Too long! My only gripe with this is that they really should have done this sooner than later. Remember that time when those awful and bizarre Spider-Man and Elsa videos began plaguing the website only for YouTube to remove them? Years later? Yeah, they're really slow at this kind of thing. But regardless, this is great news. YouTube has given users two months to clean up their channel before the new policy goes into full effect. But I do wonder, what about those videos that are based on a controversial challenge, but do it in a harmless way? What about those videos of people drawing pictures or eating food as part of the Bird Box Challenge? Are those videos going to be removed just because they're associated with a challenge that caused people to drive in the middle of the road blindfolded? Heck, what about videos that just talk about the Bird Box Challenge? Are they going to be removed as well? Oh jeez, I might have to unlist this video because I'm talking about it right now! In conclusion, when it comes to internet challenges, don't go overboard and turn them into a game of flirting with death. It's not worth it. I really don't see the appeal of this challenge. Having to do a task while blindfolded? Really? You'll just end up bumping into things, cause damage, or even hurt yourself. You'll just end up looking like an idiot. Seriously, only a complete loser who has nothing of value would do something as stupid as this. Hello everyone, it's me, Mr. Daydream, doing the Bird Box Challenge. For this challenge, I'm going to try to find my way to the bathroom. I literally have nothing to lose, so I might as well begin. Okay, let's see. Um, hopefully I don't bump into anything. Oh, oh geez, oh jeez. Okay, I gotta be careful with those boxes. Maybe it's this way I have to... Oh no, that, that's the coffee table! Oh my god, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Okay, let me see if I can find my way around. Oh man, this is so bad. Oh, yeah. Oh,
Where am I? This isn't good. I need to find my way back. I'm scared. I'm so very scared. How did this happen? All I was trying to do is find my way to the bathroom and I somehow ended up getting lost in these woods. Oh, this is so embarrassing. <sighs> well, I can worry about my non-existent dignity later. Right now I have to find my way back. I've been lost for hours. I have no food and all I have is this lantern and this stupid blindfold that got me lost to begin with. Wait a minute, that's it! Since I ended up in these woods by not being able to see anything, maybe if I wasn't able to see anything while trying to find my way back, I'll be able to find my way back! If that makes any sense, but since I can't find my way back even with my own eyes, uh, I have uh, this is my only option, so yeah, let me, let me try this out. Okay, hold on a second. On second thought, don't do the bird box challenge because you may end up getting lost in the woods like a complete idiot. That idiot being me. <laughs>